everyone welcome back to my channel and again today I have a new batch of haul I have a little bit of Walmart haul and a little bit of um, bath and body works yeah I always forget that I always make a mistake between bath and body works and bed bath and beyond for some reason I just can't get it sometimes but I'm sure I'll get used to it so um, I have some hauls from Walmart just because, you know, I've been hearing a lot of nice stuff about them. So I was really curious what's out there. So I haven't really been around the, the makeup area in Walmart. So I just gave it a try and I got a few stuff. Not so much, just something for me to, you know, try. So um, to get started, I did... Um, purchase this physician's formula and I heard this from the review of it's Judy's it's Judy time I'm sorry um I have this one the youthful wear um it says it's a new innovation weightless foundation serum so it's it says look up to 10 years younger and who doesn't want that I would love that so um, I really took my time and when I saw this I'm like I'm really I really am gonna try this um, so I got this in um exactly what color um, the thing about this it, it does have an SPF 15 so um, at nighttime I'm not really excited about an SPF because it's like what I said it's nighttime so you really don't need that uh, but in the mornings which I'm always you know, most of the time I go out and do some errands and all that stuff so that would really help but this winter time it's not really very needed because we never get like a really harsh um lot of um you know strong sun race around here in Chicago but yeah this is I got this in medium and it came with like this little cute brush and it is really nice though you know I thought it was gonna be so soft and like really not nice but it might be perfect for a foundation when you're trying to um put on your foundation it comes with this um cute tiny teeny weeny brush and let me check this out and of course the packaging it's really very cute and um let's see that and it has some kind of like a dropper here it is you know when it's when the consistency is like this, I usually have um, something like this that I use, like a glass thingy. I use this a lot. That's where I put the foundation when it's kind of like a little too liquidy. So I I use this so much. So I always keep this handy over there on the side. And but yeah, the consistency is very liquid. But I really don't know how it's gonna come out. Um, I have something similar. The, the the consistency of this I have something similar like my favorite um, the L'Oreal liquid powder um, I'm really really loving this this is my go-to foundation right now though I still have a lot of different kinds of selections of foundations but that's kind of like my favorite so far so yeah I'm definitely gonna be trying this and hopefully I'll be able to make a review with you guys and I'm gonna I'm looking forward of my 10 years looking younger situation. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. And another of, another thing is that this one, this this is the True Match um, Lumi, the Healthy Luminous Makeup. And I have this in color Natural Beige, W Form or the Warm. Um, I've swatched this and it's feels so nice. I haven't tried it in my face. Like I said, I haven't even opened. There you go. And let me try the consistency. Ooh. And it comes in a pump. Oh, it's so much easier. But it just really, it feels really good. Um, you know, I'm not exactly sure. I think it's still different when you try to swatch it in your hands um, compared with your face. Your face is more sensitive with all the um, foundations that you put in there. But Definitely when you put it in your hand, it looks really nice, you know, like um, I'm putting it right now over here and Talking about that, you know, you guys see this tattoo, you know, I have the um, Kat Von D Lock It tattoo And the other day I tried it to cover it up and it was amazing. It covered it up like 
one of these days I'm gonna I'm I don't think I have to do a tutorial but all of you out there who wants to cover up some parts of their tattoo this Kat Von D is really amazing you just really have to know how to pack it up in there and um, I wore it I don't think it would last that long though like the whole day the 24 hour like coverage but you know, if you're going to attend a special occasion that you kind of want to cover up a little bit, I mean, I'm nothing to be ashamed of of my tattoo, but sometimes it just doesn't match um, with the occasion. You just kind of want to like tone it down and it does cover it very well. And but of course, if you kind of like rubbed it off and, you know, through the, the whole day, it will it will show, but it does cover up. So something for you to know. So, yeah, I'm also looking forward to be using this one. And I've been hearing a lot of good reviews about it. So I'm really excited, you guys. I have two new foundations that to try. These are all like, I consider the Physician's Formula a drugstore foundation also. Same as with my others. But I have a lot of my high-end foundations that I've been tried and tests. I'm not very happy with BB creams though. Mm, I think the BB creams that I have are the, the last ones that I'm ever going to have. I, I don't think I'm ever going to purchase it again. So, um, I guess that's it. And then next, I also bought this Milani liquid eyeliner. Um, I've been hearing about good reviews about this. Now, um, I've seen somebody who put on the eyeliner really perfectly with a wing on them. I'm not really great on that. So, I tried to buy this just so I can practice. I know with my last haul, I bought the Kardashian. But the tip of that is very, very soft. And then I also got this NYC lipstick. Um, they're really adorable. But the packaging, they're pretty, you know, inexpensive. Well, they are really, really very inexpensive. And they are just so difficult to open. If I can just open that. Okay, so... Next, I do have, like what I said, I do have the ones. What the heck did happen here? So next are the lipstick that I got at the NYC, and I have it in this color. I think this is 301, the cafe. Let me swatch that for you guys. This one, can you really see it? Not so much. And I have the other color in Blossom, which I think it was damaged. I'm not exactly sure why, but I just really hate it when my lipstick gets damaged like that. I don't know why. It probably oh, fell. Yeah. But that is the color. Isn't that a beauty? Mommy. Yes. And also, I got a Wet n Wild lipstick in 552A. It's just Garnet. Okay, next is this Wet n Wild um, in 552A in Just Garnet, and let me swatch that. It's just so beautiful. Can you see that, guys? It's just like a perfect fall color. Um, I, I thought I did have something similar, um, but it was a different number of, um, where is that thing? Okay, I thought I saw it, but the other one is 528A. This, this one is 552A, so... I was kind of like nervous, like I'm, I already have this, but no, the, there are totally different colors, so I'm really glad I didn't get the same one. And I actually have the 522A, which is also in a darker side, which is perfect for this fall weather. I mean, fall season, I'm sorry. What is wrong with me? I just can't say, I can't just talk right now. But anyway, and also what made me so excited is I haven't tried, I, uh, the only hard candy product I have is my primer, which is doing really great for me. I just love this so much. This is what I have been using, this primer, and I've had it for a while, and I love, love, love it. It just gives me this perfect, smooth finish, you know, um, uh, when I put my foundation, it just looks really really beautiful i'm i've been getting a lot of compliments about my makeup just because you know i'm using a great primer and a great foundation it's like everything is great like nothing's really too bad for me not only if it's really really bad you know i'm kind of like easy to please i'm always like wow that is so nice 
things. I'm always so excited about all of those things. But when I get really frustrated and disappointed, I am really disappointed. It takes a while for me to kind of like, you know, feel better about it. But yeah, I got this hard candy in Living Doll. Um, actually, this is the blush. It's called the Living Doll. And I was really blown away. I was really surprised. I got this for seven bucks only in Walmart, which is like so amazing because, you know, I mean, there. I love my collections. Um, I have high high end products and, you know, all that stuff. But sometimes it's really nice to have something that is not so expensive, um, like this one. It's seven bucks, and the blush, the pigmentation is really beautiful. Look at this. And it's just amazing. I love it so much. And I think I will definitely um, be purchasing a lot of hard candy products. And yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase. And of course, my favorite, I've always had this. I, I feel like I cannot run out of this. Because my other, my other um, compact is running empty. But like what I said, my Stay Matte Rimmel, all the time, it's like, all the time after makeup I gotta have this on my face because sometimes you know I put on my makeup in the morning and I really don't have the chance to come back up here in my makeup um, my makeup room and you know I get so busy with um, with my job uh, with my work actually and my job as a mom and it's just everything all at the same time and at the end of the day um, you know sometimes I really still have to go out and catch up with something when there's a client call sometimes it's just really hard to like oh you know what i have to retouch but when i have the stay matte i just you know probably touch up some lipstick but that's it you know it really stays in my face for quite a while so this i always gotta have it at all times and next, uh, I've been actually looking for this one, just like the blush that I told you from my last haul. It was really difficult to find them because they're kind of like a bestseller for the real techniques. But I finally got them. And of all places, I found them in Walmart. I thought I would probably be able to find them in Target or in um, Ulta, but they always run out of stuff. But here, I found it in Target. The real techniques. Um, this is the Your Eyes Enhanced Starter Set 2.0. And I finally got them and I'm really, really happy because I've been hearing a lot of good stuff about this. Makes everything look so nice with their shadow and the blending brush. I just adore. I just love it. And um, it's just, I'm really excited to use this. I'm probably going to use this by tomorrow. So... Um, cause I'm going to make a tutorial, uh, for my next video. Um, so this is our, this is all for my makeups. And like what I said, I do have another haul from Bath and Body Works. You know, I'm not exactly sure. I really don't remember because this has been a while when I got all this stuff, but I had some coupons that they're giving away, um, especially for this season. Um, the stuff about if you spend $15, you get an item for free up to... 13 or 14 I really just don't remember but um oh you know what I think I got the receipt here but not all of them yeah but I'm just gonna show you guys what I got I don't know if I really have to tell you the prices because a lot of you out there knows exactly what I'm talking about so I, but I just want to show everybody what's hot like what is the hot commodity in Bath and Body Works and what I've been loving so far um, this season um, last season I wasn't really very happy or very excited about this stuff but now with all the stresses it just everything all these products kind of makes me feel like relaxed especially candles candles makes me relax and I'm being reminded right now I can see from behind that I have forgotten to light up my candles but I'm so sorry about that I'll definitely won't forget the next time so my favorite is the pecan waffles, pumpkin pecan waffles, and they're just amazingly good. Just, it just smells so sweet. I got diabetes right now. My blood sugar went up like in two seconds, but 
they are if I say gorgeous can I say that on a scent but it's just it smells so good I just can't explain myself have you ever gotten that feeling that you just are so overwhelmed that you lost the words of the exact feeling you have but I call her gorgeous this pumpkin pumpkin what the pumpkin pecan waffles so anywho so my next product and I think oh oh you know what I'm so excited about this because I've been eyeing on this for a while but I just felt like paying this amount for this little thing is not worth it so I waited so long to get like a 20% off in any product because this cost $10 this little tiny little object that is like smaller than my face is 10 bucks and you know but it's so adorable it's just so beautiful that i gotta have it but you know i waited for so long to get that 20 percent off coupon so that i'll be able to purchase it in a very much more reasonable price and since i did i finally got it and i am so happy mama is so happy that i got my little whatever this whatever you call this but yeah i have no space actually in my makeup area for any of this but i will definitely rearrange everything because i'm so excited to do my makeup collections video so i gotta put this here and i'm so afraid that i might drop it at some point but stay put over there okay. and next I got another one because I got another 20% off coupon so I did again because I think these are the last batch that they have they don't have it in display actually and they have the huge one and I have no plans of having that and if I do I'll probably display it downstairs in our living room which will be so cute actually and they have this huge owl but anyway I didn't get it maybe next time I'll probably be able to purchase it if they like go on sale or whatsoever but for now um when I asked him, because it was like the only thing out there, the bigger one, if the, like the the big one. And then I asked, oh, good thing I asked him if they have an extra of this little ones. And she said like, yeah, we only have two left. And perfect. I have two 20% off coupon. So I got the other one. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm just laughing at myself. I just feel like a crazy person. I know this might be odd for a lot of people, but all of you out there that loves all of this nice, beautiful things will understand what I'm talking about. This this makes me really happy. I can work the whole day and do everything that I have to do, but if I get what I really like with this little things, mama's happy. Everybody happy, especially in this house. So, yep, I got that. I have another bag. Hold on. So, um, with this bag, oh gosh, I'm not, like what I said, I, I couldn't really remember what, uh, what are the whole packages thing that I got to get an, an extra one thing free, but like what I said, I'm just going to show you guys what I have got, what I have gotten. So, um, this little thing, this hand sanitizers, this is kind of like me and my little Enrique's uh, favorite thing, like our own collection. And every time I go there, he always run to this area because he probably find it really cute of having all this like little pocket bag. And I'm very, very kind of like every little thing I do, I kind of like, where is my hand sanitizer? And I always ha gotta have it in my purse. And this time I got in Cozy Vanilla Cream. And of course, when did Bath and Body Works ever have something that doesn't smell good? I'm sure they do, but I haven't encountered it. Um, so this cocoa mint is just, you can eat it, but you can't. So pumpkin frost is just so adorable. I'm sorry. I just keep on saying adorable. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people out there probably think that adorable is not a description for something that, you know, like that. But the packaging there you go the packaging is like really adorable they're like really cute and i have this little like um the case for that i only have one but i really like it so much and i just shove it in my purse and perfect and also i got this 
with that whole package i got this um sh uh, shower gel um the two-in-one hair and body wash for men and uh, i got two actually as everybody knows i haven't done it yet i would like to introduce my whole family in the future and um for those who knows i do have um an equivalent of three boys do i no actually four my husband my my son my stepson and my youngest son and a daughter so there's only two girls and four boys in this house we are being overpowered by this boys but anyway i gotta have this um uh body wash for them they're i mean except for my husband is all grown up as we all know that um my two boys are kind of like you know they're kind of like very um they kind of want something that smells better you know i just cannot throw anything on them anymore they're kind of very sensitive about that part already by smelling good you know who knows so um and they smell so good i forgot i'm so sorry um i do have the twilight woods which smells amazing oh my god this just smells adorable oh you know what i found a technique the perfect technique of smelling this uh body wash soaps is that when you open it like this and squeeze it a little bit well don't squeeze it too much because the whole um product will come out but squeeze it a little bit so that some air would come out and you will definitely smell the perfect scent of it just do a little you know cute squeeze like this and it'll give you the perfect scent while you're over there because sometimes when you just open it like this and you just keep on smelling it you'll you'll never get anything i don't know i just do it that way so i'm just sharing my technique Oh my god this one is the mahogany woods this smells so amazing it just smells so good and you know um i'm sure my husband's gonna love this my son definitely loves this stuff and you know it was like a perfect choice so other than that i also got i gotta have some you know so i chose the velvet sugar and it just smells so good it smells a little fruity but it smells really fresh you know that's how um bath and body works it's just so funny that i really have to look at the packaging the bag so that i would say it right way what 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 is wrong with me right now so anyway yep yeah, i love the scent of this but of course you know you wouldn't really see or experience the real scent until you use it but i'm sure so with that whole thing i also got i think i got this um if i spend something i forgot but this only cost me five bucks of course with a coupon i got the um the body cream for this one that matches you know i don't want to be smelling a different product for my body wash and a different product for my body cream i don't know what's going to end up smelling if you have different um products in your body um i'm really very particular of that so you know well obviously it smells the same you know so it smells really good it's velvet sugar it's ultra shea body cream so up to be honest i haven't tried any uh body cream from um bath and body works but definitely i'll let you know guys um you know um after probably a week or two i'll probably talk about it um it just says here that this body cream provides 24 hours of continuous nourishing moisture so skin feels no feels noticeably softer so we'll just have to trust what they say i'll just have to try that and also since i'm really been loving the pecan the what do you call this the pecan waffles the pumpkin pecan waffles i also purchased this gentle foamy hand soap this is what we really need i always have this in my bathroom or right by the kitchen sink you know because i always want my kids to wash their hands every time they come in they come home and 
I'm very particular of all this stuff as, as well as my husband and um, especially now that we have a little girl we have a little baby and she is just so adore okay I'm not gonna talk more about that but um, I also got this and I remember that this was on sale for three dollars I think and this is the Malaysian pomegranate gentle foaming hand soap you really cannot smell let's see that smells really great pomegranate always smells really really good so I don't even have any doubt about that but I have this on sale I wish I would have gotten some more but you know I kind of have to slow down at some point and you know um I really didn't even notice that I got two of this product I must have loved it so much at that moment so please forgive me when I probably picked it up twice and I really didn't even notice but I actually don't remember if when I because when I go shopping and my husband is right next to me I feel like somebody's poking me in my butt that I really have to be in a hurry so I end up picking everything up so that I can just like go ahead and finish what I get because it's he's not the very big fan of shopping especially in the mall and once he asked me about did you, do you get everything that you need or if he say are you done oh my god I gotta run <laughs> because it means he's already tired but anyway so I guess that's all my <laughs> that's all my haul from Bath and Body Works and from Walmart and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope I was able to give you a little overview of what I have gotten give you an idea of what you can purchase and which is good uh, I wish I can give you more of a review of a lot of these products but I can't do that until I try these products so if I have something to say about any of this I'll definitely give you a heads up before you get into it so I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, please give me a two thumbs up if, if you like the video or not <laughs> but um if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so um go ahead and um put all your comments down below i would really really love to hear any of your comments all of your suggestions i am really excited to make some interactions with everybody out there who's been watching me and thank you very much i i know a lot of you guys have been like following me in instagram and and facebook and that make me so excited and really eager to make more videos as much as I can. So thank you, thank you very much. And I would like to say goodbye for now and I'll see you on my next video. Okay, bye.